We got one person in here I see. And there's a few people that went live today that don't normally go live, so maybe <clears throat> there's, a lot, there's a lot going on out there in YouTube world. We definitely have somebody in here. Two people, it seems like. Clint Ness, it's not him. <laughs> yeah, Gordon, I sent you an email back, buddy. It, that looks really nice, man. Clint Ness is not here, apparently. Clint says it's not me, and, and I'm not here. We got four people in here right now. How is everybody doing? Clinton, uh, uh, DK Row, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully, we got some good stuff going on in this box. We do have one ender. Uh, it's a 40 percenter, so hopefully, we got some good stuff going on. Uh, Gordon Gadboys, he's uh, started to tone some uh, coins himself, and he sent me a picture of them, and they look pretty good. Uh, that's all right, Gordon. Uh, other than your donation, we've only had one other donation uh, as of right now, brother. We do have, uh, let's see, you have uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then the other donation is another 10, so that's 30. So we do have 20 rolls left tonight. There are a lot of people going live. I just got a notification that I went live. <laughs> Ain't that something? How many for Saturday? I should have three boxes to pick up uh, on Saturday, Gordon. I should have three Loomis boxes. This is a Loomis box, but it's Brinks rolls. Uh, you know, I always like to put them in the in the flat box so everybody can see what's going on. Ozzy says it's stack. Uh, it's a uh, party time. Ozzy Stacker says party time. That's awesome. I have a I have a question for everybody. So I recently ordered some tenth ounce rounds, and I wasn't really looking at where they were or what they was from, but this is what I ended up buying right here. And. I checked it out. I flipped it over and I never noticed when I bought it. Let's see if I can get it to pop up here. It says copy in the center. Now, I don't know why it says copy in the center. It's from the Highland Mint. Does anybody have any information of the Highland Mint? There's their uh, initials down at the bottom there. Uh, it says HM right there. It does say... Uh, uh, a tenth troy ounce three nines fine silver but uh it kind of scared me when i got it out maybe copyright protection it kind of scared me when i got it out because i looked at the front and then i seen the back and i said copy i'll know what is this <laughs> so if anybody's heard of the highland mint and uh have any has any information you know let me know But I was thinking <clears throat> to eventually put those on some rolls. Now, I don't have a silver tester, but I do need to get one. Uh, I was thinking of take it to my, uh, <clears throat> my coin store and have them check it out. I went to the, the website and, you know, it seems like it's legit, but I just didn't know if anybody else had any information like they've bought from them or anything. It's not like the Sunshine Men or anything like that. They, I, I did see a tab where JM Bullion sells Highland Mint. <clears throat> yes, Gordon, uh, pretty close to the equivalent. I haven't done the exact math, but uh, definitely pretty cl close to the equivalent. 
So these are the bag pulls right here. I'm going to put the clad in first. I'm going to put the dimes in. I'm going to put the 40s in. And then I'm going to put the 90 in. So we have that. <clears throat> And of course, uh, Gordon's first. He's always uh, he always makes sure he gets his donations in. Some of Gordon's tone coins are half 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 ounce or uh, yeah half ounce generics. That's cool. Augie's in the house. Hey, how are you, Augie? Give one the ping test. Well, it did have a bit of a ping, but I can't really get it to sit on my finger. The thing's so little. Hey, Crispy, how you doing, man? Thanks, brother. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Hopefully, we get into uh, some really nice stuff here. We do have one silver ender. I picked up some 10th rounds. This tape is getting on my nerves. Let's see if I can get it to ping. I mean, it's so small, I can barely... Yeah, it just doesn't want to... It's 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 got a bit of a ping there. Ben S, what's up? He knows that tape. He says, <laughs> "Yeah, I ordered these tenth rounds today. Uh, they're tenth ounce rounds, and uh, I'm trying to find out if anybody has any information about the Highland Mint." We've got seven people in here, uh, eight likes. That's awesome. Thank you all for coming in. <clears throat> so we're going to start this stream off. Gord wants to start on row 16. So it's 5, 10, 15, 16 is right here. And he gets 10 rolls at first. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. He gets two bag pulls. And then two 40 percenters as well. So we'll start this off. Let me put these back here. I did get some more 40 percenters in the mail. So we're going to start him off with his two 40 percenters right here. Maybe. <laughs> A 1968. And a 1966. So we got you two 40 percenters. I always bank his 40 percenters and his and his 90 percenters because he likes to do a trade for American Silver Eagles. So there's that. <clears throat> We're going to check the bottoms. We've got a 40 percenter there. We got a Walking Liberty there. And that's it right here. So let's get him a 40. You can't stay long. Hey, buddy, I appreciate you stopping in, Kiwi. I got great news. Uh, my brother-in-law has a, a wire stripper for uh, stripping copper wire. So instead of uh, a razor blade and the chance of cutting my hand off, uh, uh, I'm going to be able to use a, a stripper where I just have to peel it out of the coating. So that's awesome. I've watched you and your stripper, uh, so hopefully... Uh, it's as easy as yours is right there. So we've got a 1943 for Gordon. That's right there. We've got another 40 percenter for Gordon. <clears throat> 1967. Hey, Daniel McGriff, how you doing, man? I'm checking you out right now. I see you on there. Thank you so much for your donation. <clears throat> Daniel McG with a 35. Thank you so much. Hopefully we get a lot of silver out of this thing tonight. Ben S, thanks for stopping in, buddy. I appreciate you. <clears throat> don't, don't work too hard, man. Ozzy Stacker says strippers are the, always the better option. Steve Rice says, Ozzy, I'm with you. Strippers rock. We're talking about wire strippers. <laughs> uh, ben says he never tries to work at all. Mm. 
I'm glad Steve Rice popped in the house. Oh, I got great news as well. Uh, we have, uh, I have that microscope and I couldn't get it to work. And now I can. So that's awesome. I was able to get the microscope to work. Of course, I don't know how to get, uh, I don't have the software to have uh, split screens yet. I have to figure that part out. We're gonna weigh that one. It sounds kind of funny. Maybe we got a rolled thin error or something. <clears throat> let's roll. Let's weigh that real quick. It can happen. That is another one of my goals is to is to get my lightweight half dollars sent in and uh, accredited. I'm going to use Annex because it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, it weighs regular. It just had a weird had a weird sound to it. <clears throat> Always like to check. You just never know what you might find. It could be uh, a foreign foreign some type of foreign planchet, and I think we have silver. I think we have silver right here. Right there in the center. Bam. 1967. Gordon finds the first silver of the box. Congratulations, Gordon. We got one silver on the box. Of course, uh, Debbie B won't be here tonight. She, uh, her friend was, uh, well, I'll let her tell you whenever she gets a chance. <clears throat> but she's with her, she's hanging out with her friend right now. Uh, Kiwi says, woohoo, 40. Hey, that was an awesome mail call, man. Thanks for taking me with you in the woods for a hunt, man. That was awesome. The kids were definitely having fun. Uh, the wife loves the baby face now. Um, she's very happy with it. She just earlier said, I look like a little baby, <laughs> which is kind of funny. There she is. She's dancing, smiley faces. You can't beat that. Crispy's possums. The possums are a lot prettier than yours. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this video upload. I haven't watched it yet. <clears throat> Gordon says two more silvers, please. Buddy, I want silver and ever roll for you. You already know. Silver and every row I prefer. Um, uh, KS Adventures 14, uh, they had some Brinks boxes, <clears throat> and they very well could be getting them, uh, you know, because I don't know how it, the roots work and how many hubs there are for Brinks and Loomis and all that stuff. I don't know how all that works, but they've they got a Brinks box with rolls like this and they're near me the you know i could say that they're you know within you know the tri-state area or whatever the case may be but uh yeah, i appreciate it uh uh gordon but yeah they they got a they got a really nice box from the brinks uh brinks bank it had three walkers in it They uploaded that video the other day, or earlier. We got some Mark coins there. 
I got all kind of marks on it. All right, we got two rolls left. We've got one silver out of it. Come on. We've already got a bonus silver, though, so you can't beat that. One bonus silver. We know that uh, we have an ender somewhere in this box. <clears throat> That's why I like to make sure there are marked rolls because I want everybody to go home with something. Crispy says, come on, silver for Gordon. Well, Gordon, it looks like the last roll didn't treat you any good. But we got 10 more rolls for you, buddy. So that's that. Gordon, we did get you, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, four 40 percenters. We got you four 40 percenters right there, my friend. And then one walking liberty. I'm going to put this in here. Hopefully on our next uh, our next 10 rolls for you, we get uh, a lot more. <clears throat> We're going to put that in there for now. Put you over here. Next up, of course, we have you in the end of stream giveaway for uh, – We've got two tickets right there. We'll get you another two. Next is Jeff G. He's not in here yet, but uh, hopefully he's able to get to the stream and see what's going on. So he's got 10 rolls as well. Put that there. We'll get him two 40 percenters out of this thing right here. Gordon, you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. Goodness. I'm moving so fast, buddy. Yes, I owe you two bag pulls. Sorry, man. We're going to give you three because I forgot. We're going to get his stuff out of the way. So we got you a 40. Man, that's crazy. Sorry, sorry, Gordon. But we're going to give you three. We got you a Mercury Dime. Come on, let's get him three for three. Because I for because I forgot for about the bag pulls. That's a 1963 Denver. We'll take that. All going to the bank, absolutely, buddy. Put that back in there. Let's get him three for three because I forgot. Well, let's just one more time. <laughs> All right, two clads, man. Sorry about that, man. I really pre I really appreciate your donation. I do hate that I forgot uh, to do that, but we added another 1968 40% and a dime, 90% uh, dime to your to your pack right there. We got two good pulls, so thank you very much. Uh, Jeff G, we're going to start him off with a 66 and then a 1967. We're going to get this over here. We're going to do his bag pulls right away. Come on now. <laughs> we got a clad. What are we going to get? And we got a 40 percenter. So at least we've got him one, one 40 percent out of there. That's a 1969. So we're going to start him off with three 40 percenters. Let's see if we have anything as marked rolls here. Oh, it looks like he got the, uh, uh, Ender right here. It's a 1969. Nothing there. And he got a Walking Liberty. Check that out. Let's get the Walking Liberty out. <clears throat> 1942. Philadelphia Mint. Jeff G. You start off with, uh, and then you'll have the 40 percenter there. We're going to open that thing last, though. We'll put that back there. <clears throat> So you start off before the rolls are open, 340s and a walking liberty. You can't beat that. Very good start. It's a very good start, man. Kiwi, I'm thinking about starting a new uh, international thing, man. But I'm thinking maybe 
uh, we can trade uh, our gift, should I say, or trade or whatever. Maybe get five people involved. Uh, Augie, I hadn't made it to the uh, post office yet. I'm sorry about that, man. <clears throat> but I'm thinking about like sending bullion coins. So I send out two American Silver Eagles to someone, and obviously internationally, and then they take their whatever Silver Eagle they would like, and then put their bullion coin in. Say if you know a Canadian or something, Canadian maple leaf, or if I send it to you first again then it'd be like a fern uh but I, I think that would probably be probably be a pretty good idea what do you think <clears throat> we got seven people in here and 10 likes <clears throat> let me get this on live chat real quick <clears throat> He says he could do a fern arse tag. All right. Jeff G, we do have a counterstruck coin right here. Has a number five on it. I always keep those. So this is an oddity. So I'll be sending this to you as well. It is a 1974. I always send out the oddities. Because I would generally keep them myself. Come on, silver. We got one silver out of the box so far. We know that we got another one coming on this ender over here. We got 12 likes. I love that. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I did see that stag coin. That was pretty nice. <clears throat> Ozzy says it's a great idea as well. Oh, man, I hooked that uh, microscope up and figured out how to get it to work. Man, it is phenomenal. The clarity is just amazing. And, uh, yeah, it's just, just crazy. Uh, the prime rib wasn't too bad. Uh, I did end up eating it. Um I'm just not a huge fan, man, for some reason. Uh, hey, I appreciate you stopping in, Kiwi, man. Don't work too hard and always work safe, buddy. Cal 123's in the house. I'm glad you could stop in, man. Cal 123's always working as well. That guy works all the time. So far, uh, Cal123, we have found one 40%er uh, in the rolls. We have one ender coming up, and that'll put us at two. I believe 17, Gordon. I believe 17. You have the next 10, and then... Uh, uh, Daniel gets seven, so that'd be five, ten, thirteen. You get ten, and then Daniel gets seven, five, six, seven, so five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Looks like thirteen, buddy. Come on, silver. Gordon tells me that a lot of streams aren't finding any silver at all. So just having a couple silvers come out of the box, I feel pretty confident and uh, pretty happy about that. 
Let me check this out real quick. It's a 74, so I'm going to check for the double die. Just real quick. It looked really nice. It was looked pretty good, but it wasn't what we was looking for. <clears throat> Absolutely, Ozzy. It's definitely a game of luck. Uh, you'll have certain times when uh, you'll be you'll do better than than others, and then. Uh, like for probably four months straight, nothing. I mean, I was finding a couple here, a couple there, but I'm talking, I searched, you know, eight boxes in a week and not find, but, you know, three coins. And then lately I've been doing really well. Yeah, I did get the loop. Um, I did a, I, I was on the live stream uh, my last live stream and I, I put that up there it was definitely uh definitely huge <laughs> i can't wait to get the uh software to have split screens that way i can have a uh, uh a microscope screen and i can just put that under there for everybody to see all at the same time that'll be awesome <clears throat> All right, so we've got this ender roll right here. Let's open this thing up. We know that there's a 1969 on the end. Jeff G. It looks like that's the only one in the roll. But we do got you another piece of silver right here, 1969. Hey, thanks for hitting that like button. Haha, -ha, your mom. Left the link on the high high speed box hunt. Gordon had some pretty good ideas about uh, uh, some box hunts and uh, donations and and uh, prizes and gifts and uh, so I can't wait to kind of you know make that work for me uh, so that it works for everybody at the same time. Oh, you did leave the uh, link on the high speed. Yeah, for the software. Yes, you did, Gordon. I remember that now. I was wondering where it went. I was like, I know it. I haven't. Of course, I haven't went back. Uh, I haven't went back to check where it was or, or, or anything like that. But the high speed box hunt. Let me write that down. High speed hunt software. <laughs> I tell you, man, I will forget stuff if uh, if if given the chance. So uh, for Jeff G, we did get this uh, counter struck. It's got a number five on it, so he'll have that four forty percenters right here: a sixty nine, a sixty nine, a sixty seven, and a sixty nine. We got three sixty nines and a sixty seven. So congratulations on that. That's four forty percenters plus this Walking Liberty. Check that thing out. Nineteen forty two. Bam. So we'll put that in there for Jeff G. Thank you so much for your donation, Jeff G. And of course, I'll have this out to you as soon as I can. I'll, I want to do, I will want to do a wrap up of it, uh, of course. So uh, the next one is Gordon. Again, let's get his envelope back out here. Let's try to fill this thing up. He's got 10 more and two bag pulls. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> let's not forget about the bag pulls here. So we got his 10 out here. Let's get these bag pulls out. We got a clad. We don't like that. Hey, I for errors. What's up, buddy? When we got a 40. All right. Nobody's getting skunked. I don't allow a skunking anyway. <laughs> Here's a 1966. Check that thing out. Gordon, we start you off with one bag pull, 40 percenter. Now we're going to get you two 40 percenters for the second set of donations right here. Another 1967 appears. And a 1967. So we'll take that. That's two more. We've got three. Let's see what we got. Four enders. That almost looked like it might have been, but it ain't. It almost looked like it was silver. 
Walking Liberty and a 40 right there. Boom and boom. Check that out. Nineteen forty-five, Philadelphia minute, and another forty percenter from my man Gordon right there. Nineteen sixty-seven. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you stopping in just for the time that you do, man. I appreciate your uh, support. Uh, hit that like on the way out. <laughs> Don't forget me. So far, so good. Check those. Back two rows. Let's check those back two rows, he said. These two. Them two. These two. Them two. And then, of course, these two. <clears throat> so we got your bag pulls. We got your mark rolls. Oh, it's no good. Catch me every time, man, because I, I will forget something every once in a while, just like them uh, bag pulls. And that's what I need uh, is for somebody to catch me. I'm not I'm not messed up about being called on something I forgot, which is why I gave you an extra pull, because I shouldn't have I shouldn't have forgot. You know, I, I shouldn't have uh, missed the bag pulls. And then whenever I pulled a blank, I decided to pull it again, <laughs> pull you another one. So. Uh, unfortunately, the two bonus pulls were both clad. <clears throat> oh, we got some silver. Gordon finds another silver in the in the row right here. Check this out. Bam. See it right there. It's going to be a 40, but we'll take it. It's a 1967. Happy about that. So we got three on the box so far. Bam. Hey, thanks, Cal. I appreciate you stopping in. I'm glad you was able to make it today. And we got a 2011. He said, leave that as a tip. I'll accept it. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much for that. I do have a tube of coins that um, I have been given from the stream, and I'll be keeping those all together because, you know, I, I do appreciate everybody and what they do for my channel. And you know, just like with the letters, I don't, I don't even throw the envelopes away yet. I mean, I've got a bunch of mail, uh, like a bubble envelopes with people's uh, addresses. Uh, yes, it is the real Rick G, uh, but you won't know it because I don't have my beard. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm glad you could stop in. So far, we found three. We have found three uh, forty percenters in the rolls. We did have one ender, and we have already found that one. <clears throat> My wife would beg to differ. She thinks this is the real Rick G. We found one NIFC. I'd like to find another. Uh, what was it? A uh, magic coin. I hunted a box for myself because there was no. Uh, it almost looked like there was no FG. Mills just got off work. Uh, working sucks, man. I'm. I. I can't say that, man. I got a pretty good job. I. Uh, you know, it's not too bad. The people I work with are pretty good. You know, that all comes into play. And uh, sometimes it is demanding, but, you know, everything in life, if it ain't worth, if it ain't worth having, it ain't worth, you know, and all that stuff. We got a 1988. <clears throat> she just that quick. I forgot about what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, searching that box whenever I was just, when I just did a random live stream just to chat and hang out, you know, I ended up finding a couple silvers in that box, you know, it what didn't have any enders. So I figured, ah, the night before I did a, a, a box hunt, so why not just wait? Uh, let me check my, 
No, sir. I believe we have uh, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 rolls left, my friend. But, of course, the the box that I didn't live stream for, uh, you know, it, it was just a chat box just for chatting and searching. I end up finding a magic coin and a clip planchet. So, that, you know... <laughs> That kind of sucks because I'd prefer to, you know, find it for someone that donated. <clears throat> of course, I really want to. That's a couple things I'd like to find during a live stream. A clipped planchet for someone. And a magic coin. But more so a no FG and a magic coin. That was the first clip planchet half dollar I've ever found. But I found a few no FGs, and I found a few magic coins. So I'd really like to find that for someone that donates at some point. We got six people in here. Yeah, there's a lot of streams going on right now. Gordon, we've got two more rolls for you, bud. So far, we've got the marked in, the walker in the 40. And now we have one silver out of the roll. Hey, Rick G. I'm here chilling until I go on my night walk. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, John Oof. How's things going with that stream lab or yeah, stream labs? Is that what it is? Gordon said he'll buy some more if needed. I think Mel might be uh he did ask. He says it's old news to him now. Ah, man. Sorry, Gordon. Oh, almost got rid of one. We got a 2002. It's been in circulation probably since 2002 right there. We'll put that over there. Thank you so much, Gordon, for your donation and for donating a coin to me. All right, so Gordon, for that one right there, we did end up with one, two, three, four, five, 40 percenters, my, my friend. <laughs> I need a tip jar, absolutely. Five 40 percenters and a walking liberty. I know you like the ladies. So congratulations on that. Thank you so much for your donation. Nice little healthy little envelope right there. Of course, I'll bank those for you for the bigger ladies. I appreciate you so much. So next up is Daniel McG. <clears throat> Horrible handwriting. Daniel McG. You can't get that confused right there. Daniel McG. You have a $35 donation. So here is a 40 percenter, my friend, for every $25. You get a 40 percenter automatically. Once I get a PayPal set up today, I'll be hooking into some of these hunts. Absolutely, Ozzy. Uh, 1968. We're going to start you off with that. We're going to start you off with this bag pull, Daniel. <clears throat> and we got him a Mercury Dime. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well today. Uh, the last stream, I wasn't doing very good on bag pulls. But today I'm doing good. I'm doing well. 1964 Denver. We will take it. Start him off for that right there. We're going to get him seven rolls out here. One, two, three, four, five, 
six and seven. We've got that. Let's check these out. He's got the tiger stripe. Come on now. There it is. It's really just paint of some kind. <clears throat> and then a walking uh, a walking liberty. Steve says, good luck with the search. I have some honeydews to take care of. Happy wife. Ha hey, brother, you ain't never <laughs> you ain't never got to tell me nothing about that. I guarantee it, buddy. <clears throat> I guarantee it. So, Daniel, we start you off with a walking liberty, a 40 percenter and a dime. That's before we even open the rolls. Let's get some more silver out of this. We have found three silvers in the rolls. So we got a 1944 for you right there. We found three silvers in the rolls. One of them being the enders. So let's see if we can find some more. Bicentennial. Ninety two sound funny every once in a while. It's always the ninety two D. It always weighs right. It's just every once in a while. Gordon says two silvers coming. All right, Mel's coins just did get five rolls, so he has one, two, three. Four, five. That'll leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That leaves eight rows left. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can get some more silver out of this thing. 92 was a good year, Ozzy says. Was that the year you was born, Ozzy? Gordon says he'll. Gordon says he'll take the rest. Gordon loves searching rolls, man. I'll tell you, that guy you can't hold him back. He sees something, he wants it. He usually has pretty good uh, luck with it. He has some pretty good luck with the industry profit pool as well. Yeah, Gordon, we was talking about that uh, full box, half box uh, donation thing. Uh, you know, after I was thinking about some things and some of it, I just got to, I got to tweak it just a little. This probably got a hole in it. Nope, it's been pinched. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to just tweak it just a little bit after, because you got to, I don't think it'll be exactly what we has, has uh, you know, the initial idea, but that's a good starting place for it. <clears throat> hey, John Isabella, how are you, man? Thanks for stopping in. <clears throat> We probably have a short stream tonight. We've been on for 44 minutes. Uh, I only had one box, and I believe Gordon is going to pick up the last eight rolls. <clears throat> so we're getting things done. That's awesome, Ozzy, that, you, that was when you was born, man. <clears throat> All right, we got the last roll right here, Daniel. Daniel McG, we got the last one here. <clears throat> 
Unfortunately, we did not find any silver in it. John said he's a... Uh, I see you, brother. Thank you so much, uh, Gordon. So we are sold out. Uh, I am going to send this to you, Daniel. It doesn't have any extra anything to it, but uh, it's a bit of an oddity just because it's got the paint slashed across it like that. So I'm going to head. I'm going to go ahead and send that to you. Spend it in change or 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 keep it, whatever you would like. Unfortunately, my friend, there was none in that last row, but we did end up with some pretty good silver, Daniel. Walking Liberty, 1944 Walking Liberty. We got the 1968 uh, 40 percenter. We got a 1964 uh, Roosevelt Diamonds, 90 percent. And then this little oddity right here. So thank you so much uh, for your donation. <clears throat> and I'll have these out as soon as I can, of course. Uh, I haven't made it to the post office since the last stream. You know, I do have a full-time job and it's kind of demanding and I do work a lot of hours, but um, I am trying to get the Friday for sure. I should get to the, I, I get to the post office on Friday for sure. So definitely, yeah, it looks like war paint. Absolutely. But definitely I'll be able to get it out by then. <clears throat> so mail's up next. Let's see if I got a... Nope, I don't have a, uh, an envelope already made for him. We're going to get Mel's coin corner. Mel's coins right there. Bam, we're going to start you off with a 40 percenter, of course. 1967. We'll put that down right there. We'll get you a bag pull. Mel, are you still in here left or right, buddy? Yeah, Daniel, that's rough, man. Jeff Gowan, hey, buddy, how are you? You were second up. Let me show you what we got for you. Let me let me do his bag pull. Let me do Mel's bag pull real quick. Mel's bag pull grabs him a 40 right there. I am doing good with bag pulls. Um, I'm hitting silver almost every time, 1967. So Mel, we start off with two 40 percenters, put that over here. Let me show Jeff, uh, what we found for him real quick. Sorry about that, Mel. I'm sure, I'm sure you don't, you don't mind. Mel's got a great channel. If, if nobody checked out Mel's coin corner, uh, definitely check him out. Just go to his icon right now. Uh, hit his icon and go to, um, uh, C channel or whatever it says. I can't remember what it says exactly. Uh, but definitely go check his out and, uh, check and then sub him, give him, give him a, a subscribe subscription and, uh, maybe check out some of his videos. So Jeff, um, we did find this right here. Come on now. <laughs> well, now it doesn't want to play, right? There it is. So it's a counterstruck. It's got a five on it right there by the Y. John already has uh, had mail. <clears throat> He's got a great channel, so I'll bet most people do. Uh, so we got this counterstruck right here. Uh, I always pull those out because it's an oddity. Here's a 1969 40 percenter. My camera's acting funny. <clears throat> there it goes. Let's see. 1969, 1967, 1969, 1969, and a 1942 Walking Liberty, my friend. So you got a Walker, 440s. Hey, it's no problem, buddy. It's no problem at all, Mill. And then this counterstruck uh, 1974 with the five on it. So congratulations on your finds, bud. Uh, I was saying I haven't made it to the post office yet from the last stream. So this will be in with the other package as well. You'll get one package, but it'll be both streams 
uh, just so you know. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I, was, I, I work a lot and whatnot. John Isabella, someone at some point just stamped it in there with some type of press or, you know, just a little dive and he puts it on there, hits it basically how they, uh, <clears throat> how the channels put their own uh, logos and stuff on their poured bars and whatnot. So, yeah, so Mel's coins, we're starting you off with two 40 percenters. We're going to get your five out here right now. One, two, three four and five check this out we got him another 40 percenter nineteen sixty eight <coughs> we got thirty four three forty percenter starting off and let's get some out of these rolls please mm. We found three in the box so far, and we would like to find some more. <clears throat> hey, Mel, I know you uh, get a lot of silver and do a lot of mail calls and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to ask you. I ask everybody at the beginning of the stream, I bought some 10th ounce rounds. Right here, they got the Walking Liberty front, and they're from the Highland Mint. I didn't I really pay attention to the mint that I was ordering them from, uh, but it says copy in the shield right there. So is there anything you know about this? I'm going to take one to my coin shop tomorrow and uh, see. It does say uh, one-tenth Troy ounce, three-nines fine silver on the bottom. But uh, do, if you have any any information about that, man, let me know. Nova Stacker's in the house. What's up, buddy? Yo, I got the I got the I got the the sticker. It's it's gonna be on the way, man. I thought I had one to you, and then now I realize uh, that I don't. Once you called me out on it, yeah, I don't know why it says copy on it, man. And it shows it on the the where I bought it from. It shows that it says copy. And it says that it's three nines fine silver. Because I was going to put, uh, you know, make marked rolls with the tenth ounce of, you know, tenth, tenth, out, tenth ounce rounds. But, of course, I, I don't want to do it unless I know that it's real. I'm definitely going to try to make it to the coin shop tomorrow. Maybe it's a copy of an old, old coin. I, I just can't. It's from the Highland Mint. Dolphins. <laughs> the fear is it's fake, but the hope is that it's rare. <laughs> I guarantee it. Uh, I, I'm hoping that it's not. And I bought it on eBay as well. So... Um, and they've got several for sale, and I feel like eBay would have made them take it off uh, if if they were selling something. Like if I put this 1979 on eBay saying 40% uh, uh, silver, they're going to make me take that down when it's not because it's not silver. Looks like a generic round. They have to do something to not get shut down for copying the ASC. Ah. Okay. Okay. It, it's definitely from the Highland Mint. It's a tenth ounce. It does weigh 3.2, which is a tenth of an ounce. I'm definitely going to take one to the coin shop and see what he's got. Uh, John Isabel sell says the, my LCS didn't want to take my, take any of my rounds. They only wanted my silver in circulation. They only wanted circulated silver. Uh, 
That's odd. See, Novus can come up with some good answers. They said Novus is just crazy. Uh, junk silver is king, John said. Uh, John said. <laughs> Not a real John. <laughs> I don't think that's the first time you said that to him. Last row. Let's go for Mel. Mel, we need some more silver for you, buddy. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, Mel. Doesn't look like there's any silver in that one right there. Sorry about that, buddy. I do. I do hate it whenever we don't find silver. But that's that's why I always mark them rows, man. How much silver so far? Uh, three out of the rows, buddy. Three out of the rows. There's been uh, about four walking liberties, probably four 40 percenters or so that were marked and uh males coins you get three 40 percenters my friend thank you so much check that out one two three a 67 a 67 and a 68 i can't do this all the time but because the the rolls aren't really producing i'm going to add a, a 40 percenter to mail i'm going to add a 40 percenter to jeff I'm going to add a 40 percenter to Daniel, and then I'm going to add a 40 percenter to Gordon. So I'm going to add a 40 percenter to everybody. I don't like it that the, the rolls aren't producing. I can't do that all the time, though. So just, just so you know, I can't do it all the time, but I'm going to do it right now. Bam, bam, bam. Let's get Gordon another envelope out here. Yeah, I know. I If I could tell the bank, all right, look, I want only rolls with silver in it. Yeah, I, <laughs> no doubt. I would definitely do that. <laughs> so we got uh, eight more rolls for uh, Gordon. Let's get him a bag pull. <clears throat> That was a clad. Let's try another bag pull. <laughs> All right, we got him a Mercury Dime. I'm telling you, Novus, man, it's hard for me to, uh, you know, get skunked on a bag pull. Of course, I can't do that all the time either, but this is a short stream. It's only one box, and I can – come on. <laughs> there we go. We got a 1950 – 1950. We got a 1950 going to Gordon, Denver Mint. There you go. We're going to get the 40 percenter for the donation right here. Nothing there. We got a 40 and a walker there. And nothing there, my friend. So let's get another walker out for you. Uh, Debbie's with a friend right now. She messaged earlier and that said that she had uh she had to be with a friend. Bam bam, 1939. Let's get another 40 out of here. Another 1968. So we got two 40s, a dime, and a walker. Let's try to get some more out of these rolls. Gordon says, save it for Debbie. Absolutely, buddy. Yeah, I'm trying to find another Brinks bank that will uh, order me some boxes of coin. 
uh, the one bank that I already have doing it. Yeah, save the dime for Debbie. I see. <clears throat> But uh, they already uh, was asked, I guess, by the like corporate person, you order half dollars. And they was like, yeah. And they was like, why? <laughs> and they explained it that guy comes in, he's always in, and blah, blah, blah. So they allowed them to keep uh, ordering for me. But it's not a com common practice. Oh, man, wife, wife works at a bank with no coins. Man, that's terrible, man. He can't get the black and white rolls. Nobody can't get the black and white rolls out there. Leong Anders said he stopped coin roll hunting at 25 ounces of silver. That's, a, that's awesome, buddy. Congratulations on the fines. Maybe 26. Well, the less you find, the more I got a chance, I guess. <laughs> I, hate, I hate to hear that you quit, though. Too much to carry. I do agree with you there. Yeah, we, we uh, the Aussies, they changed their coinage. So it does, it's not even the same uh, shape and whatnot. So they don't even have a chance. They got to do some metal detecting and whatnot. <laughs> That's awesome, bud. That's awesome. Leong started the gold pan. That's cool. We got 14 people in here and 16 likes. That's awesome. Because they won't do it if they know you coin roll hunting. They on to that. Yeah, I bet. Uh, when I open an uh, account at this new bank, at a new bank, I'm going to see if they'll order for me. And I'll tell them that uh, I have like a something... That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Novus. <laughs> Saving the kids one coin at a time, Novus. That's awesome. Come on, we got two more rolls for Gordon. We need something else out of this thing. But hey, Gordon, another box that wasn't a skunk. Can't beat that. <laughs> I guarantee it, humanitarian purposes. Hey, that's cool, Jeff. I appreciate you stopping in. You're awesome. Uh, sorry you wasn't able to catch it whenever I was uh, 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 open the rolls, but you could always go back if you'd like to watch it. But I was glad you popped in. I was able to show you. Hello, Kenny O'Neill. What's up? Last roll, buddy. Last roll. Let's go. Last roll, silver. We're going to tap it one time because Gordon sometimes likes to tap the roll. And unfortunately, the tap did not work this time, buddy. We got a little odd-toned 1992. 
dirty more than anything. All right, but unfortunately, a tip for the odd toned 92. I don't know. It's got something on it. I'll set it over here. <clears throat> unfortunately, buddy, we was not able to find anything else in that last roll. But as always, you have a chance at the American Silver Eagle. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Leon, I don't know anything about uh, any any type of uh, of gold panning or anything like that. So I'm sorry about that, buddy. I can't help you with that one. I probably do need to figure some of that stuff out. Uh, melting some, doing some furnace uh, stuff and melt, melting my own bars. I, I should try to look into that as well. I wouldn't even know where to begin to look for like different molds and stuff like that, though. The guys that are doing that on YouTube, man, they, my hat's off to them. Uh, they do great. They do great work, and it's awesome. So, Gordon, with that one, we did get you two more 40 percenters, a 68 and a 69. We got you the 1950 uh, dime that's going to go to Debbie B. And then we have this 1939 Walking Liberty. So thank you so much. We'll put this in your other envelope here. Bam, we'll put that over there. Now we'll get out the profit jar. Wish everyone here a check. Good luck on the rolls. You are in great hands. Hey, thanks, Novus. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, unfortunately, that was the only box I had tonight. So it is what it is, and it's over. Big Bank Little Bank, what's going on? Have y'all checked out Big Bank Little Bank? He's got some nice stickers. Uh, in fact, they're his channel logo, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stickers. We're not going to start talking about the stickers, Novus. No. <laughs> Thanks for smashing the like on the way out, buddy. We got 20 likes. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. One of these days, I might stay up late and catch one of your streams, man. Or maybe I'll just get up extra early. I don't know. I can't wait to get it. I do need to get me a sticker board and all that stuff set up. Uh, my problem is I'm working in a very confined space. It's a very small space. So that's that's my hard, that's the hard stuff. So we've got the profit jar out here. <clears throat> we got Gordon. With his first two entries, we're going to go ahead and put him in. For every $25 donation, you get an entry into the industry profit pool. Today it is, oh yeah, let's get this thing out. As always, Americans, I was thinking uh, it was going to be some uh, random back and forth, this and that stuff. The random collector co collection is here. But once I start giving away these American Silver Eagles, Everybody seemed to really like them. <laughs> so American Silver Eagles, it seems like there's always going to be a profit pool on Rick, G, Rick G's channel. So uh, there's that. So we've got Gordon, his two. We got Jeff G. Where are we at? We got Jeff G for two of them right here. We got Gordon for his second two right here. Random, uh, the random collection says, someone buy my coins, please. <laughs> Gotta love the ladies. Rick, can you do the ping test on the Silver Eagle? Just love that sound. I don't really like hitting that silver eagle, man. <laughs> uh, I don't. I I hate. I would hate to hit the the silver eagle, man. Uh, so Gordon's got the next two. Let me get this out of the way. I might have a silver eagle over here that's in uh, terrible condition. 
So Gordon got his two right there. Next up would be uh, Daniel McG. I'm going to put him down for his one entry as McG. That's a horrible, horrible G right there, but we know who McG is. Nova, I have some I'd like to sell. 1972 half dollar coins, 1958 one dollar bills, old dimes. Quinch Gaming, what's up, buddy? Yeah, we got some silver three day. We got three 40 percenters out. So we got Daniel right uh, right there. Now we got Mel is next. Let me get my papers out. I haven't wrote Mel's name down at all. We got Mel on there right there. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Novus. I appreciate you, buddy. And then for the last donation of Gordon, we got Gordon in there again. Gordon's the top donator. So as always, the top note donator gets... <clears throat> Top donator always gets a, a a walking liberty. So we got another 1935 going in here for Gordon. So congratulations on that, buddy. I appreciate your donations. You're awesome. So we're going to shake this thing up right here. And of course, whoever's name comes out is the winner of the 2000 American Silver Eagle right there. Uh, silver quarters for three dollars. Uh, I think I can get them at my coin shop. My coin shop will probably buy them for like two twenty-five, but sells them for about two sixty or so. I think, give or take. I usually don't get very many silver quarters. So let's see who wins the American Silver Eagle for tonight's profit pool. First one out right here. Come on. Bam. And the winner tonight is Gordon. Uh, Gordon, I feel like you knew this was going to come. You had the best chances. You was definitely the top donator. You had the most entries in here. Uh, thank you for your donations, buddy. But just because you had the most didn't mean you was going to win. Uh, remember last stream, uh, Daniel, wasn't it Daniel that won? Uh, he had one entry in the profit jar of like 30 entries there was 30 entries in that jar right there daniel had one and he ended up winning the american silver eagle so just because you don't have a lot of uh uh entries in there does not mean you cannot win because uh daniel definitely won an american silver eagle on the last stream so congratulations gordon of course i'll put this one back uh with all the information from all the other streams while i stack everything up for you I appreciate you st sticking it out with me the whole time, Gordon. You got another American Silver Eagle for your donations. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Daniel says, uh, yeah, one is all it took. Yeah, he had one in 30. One in 30. That's great odds, man. <laughs> that was definitely great odds, man. So I definitely appreciate everybody for stopping in, hanging out. We're, we're down to four people right now. Mel's still here. John's still here. Uh, Gordon, I think, just cut out. Daniel's here. We got 21 likes. Awesome, man. I appreciate everybody. Ozzy's still here. Better odds than a lot of <laughs> one in three, I guarantee it. Or one in 30. Uh, but, yeah, we had a good stream, man. I'm glad we found some silver. Uh, we did find three 40 percenters, so we'll take that. Gordon's still here. All right. Sorry, buddy. Usually you're on the move, man. You you like to see what's going on. You like to collect your uh, silver. <laughs> and you're like, all right, I'm out. Adios. <laughs> but, yeah, it's awesome, man. Definitely awesome. And uh, uh, I'm glad I didn't, you know, I'm still on some a little bit of silver. Yes, I ordered uh, this week three boxes. And I should pick them up on Monday or sorry, I should pick them up on Friday. Uh, 
they they usually have my stuff. Hey, thanks. Good luck on the game, man. I hope your team wins. I appreciate your stopping in. I appreciate you uh, commenting in the comments, and I appreciate your don donation, buddy. But, yeah, I had ordered them. As long as they get them delivered, I'll have three boxes on Friday to open up, see what we got, and then I'll put a video out for the live stream so that I can remind everybody that that's what's going down. Gordon cleaned up. Bring Larry Bird in as a guest hunter. <laughs> That'd be awesome, man. That'd be awesome. Hey, thanks, Ozzy. I appreciate it. I'll be on uh, Saturday. I do not work. I already know that. And uh, Saturday, I'll be on at 1 o'clock Central Time, buddy. I hope you can too, buddy. Don't, uh, Ozzy, don't forget about, uh, the convert, con convert, conversion, uh, rates, you know, from your currency to United States. Um, definitely use friends and family so that there's no fee. And, uh, we'll have to work out and figure out, uh, postage. If you do send, I, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do the first $5. I've sent to Ireland for like $3.33, and I've sent to New Zealand for even less than that. So uh, it can be done. The only the unfortunate side of that is that it's got to go as a regular letter. <clears throat> it has to be sent as a regular letter. You know, there's no tracking. There's no um, insurance or anything like that. One, because if there's insurance, they have to know what's in there. And if they know what's in there, they're going to charge you when you get it. <laughs> Some type of custom tax. <laughs> but it works out rather well. I've sent a couple packages to Ireland. Both all the both of them got there. I've sent Kiwi several packages. He's gotten every one of those. But I just want you to know that that that's usually how it goes with uh, uh, sending uh, mail overseas. It's a little tricky. Thanks, Gordon. I appreciate you, buddy. I'd love to be able to send something to uh, Australia, though. That's going to be awesome. I'm sending stuff all over the world. Uh, I had a package go to New Zealand, then Australia, because Jim Bob Slim Pickens, then to Ireland, to uh, Silver Limey, then it went to uh, Coin Collector. Is a Coin Collector who's in the United Kingdom? And then now he's sending it back to me. So that's an awesome package. Yes, I, I, Gordon, I am going to mark uh, 10th ounces on Saturday. And um, hopefully I can get it to the, the coin shop. I'm, I'm fairly certain because eBay would have told him, take that stuff down. Uh, so I'm fairly certain it's cool. But I'm going to take it there, make sure that it's silver. Jim Bob's in West Coast of Australia. That's awesome, buddy. West Coast and East Coast. That'd be cool. I got it covered. <laughs> I think it was about, I think it was like $2.30 a piece or $2.40 a piece, basically, for the roll. Like each individual. Uh, coin was like two dollars and forty cents. But yeah, I do appreciate everybody for stopping in. I can't wait till uh, Friday. Uh, you know, it, my whole week is just leading up to what am I going to find in the boxes whenever I pick them up on Friday. I'm always excited. Sometimes my uh, teller has some extra rolls for me to have uh, of customer wrapped and just awesome. Uh, awesome feeling when I go to pick them up. 
Hey, hey, PC. Hey, Brian, how you doing, buddy? Uh, we just finished up the stream, was on our way out. Uh, Gordon ended up winning the profit pool. It was a 2000 American Silver Eagle. Uh, we had three silvers in the box. Of course, in my style, I marked five walking liberties, four 40 percenters, and then we had one 40 percenter. SD Bullion has 10th ounce or quarter ounce generic software on high speed video. I have to check it out. There are a few uh, things that I need to check out, man. I, I get so behind on everything. But yeah, I do appreciate everybody. Uh, I'm yawning, of course. Uh, it was a great day. It's beautiful outside. Uh, Samantha Gilson just replied on one of my comments. <laughs> Gordon says adios for sure now. Thanks, buddy. You're awesome. I hope to see you on the next one. Uh, I'll definitely be seeing you uh, in the email and whatnot. So I appreciate you, man. I appreciate it, Ozzy. So uh, good night, everyone. Uh, take care. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And uh, Brian, you're out too. Everybody's out. I'll be the last one here. So <laughs> thank you all so much. Uh, remember, profit isn't always measured in dollar amount. And uh, until next time, good luck.